Hey everyone, it's Notorious KIA. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a much needed spring cleaning. I'm gonna be cleaning out and organizing my closet. I'm also gonna be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to get your closet all the way together, okay? Today's video is in collaboration with Poshmark. If you guys aren't familiar with Poshmark, they're a mobile app where you can sell your clothes. You can also shop other people's closets. They have brands like Nike, Adidas, Louis Vuitton, etc. You should definitely follow me at the Notorious KIA and come shop my closet. If you guys haven't downloaded the app already, I will leave a link in the description box where you can download the app for free. We like free things, don't we? <laughs> so without further ado, let's hop right into this video. All right, guys, welcome to my closet. This is where the magic happens, like for real. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is pretty much what my closet looks like majority of the time most days out of the week i didn't try to clean it up make it look pretty for you guys because we're going to get this closet all the way together in this video this is the before one of the reasons why i love cleaning out my closet other than just getting rid of clutter um, is that i fall back in love with my wardrobe um, i rediscover my personal style and it, it's fun getting dressed again um so yeah that's the goal for this video hopefully you guys you know are inspired um, by your wardrobe and you kind of like have a clear-cut sense of like what your personal style is and just in case you need to go shopping you know exactly what you need so before you start the tedious task of reorganizing your closet and getting rid of clutter you must have like a clear like understanding of the direction you want your closet to go in you must know your personal style um, and I do plan on actually doing a video on how to discover your personal style but just for the purposes of this video really quickly um, I like to create like visual mood boards um, of what my style is so I'll go on Pinterest and just like anything that catches my eye I'll add it to like a real a secret um, board like my personal style um, and I just pay attention to the things I'm constantly repinning and that pretty much tells you what your personal style is so just have a collection of images that inspire you or a collection of images that tell you what your personal style is so just so it's a lot easier getting dressed one and also a lot easier to clean out your closet so if you look at items um, so say for instance this this romper right here if this doesn't fit within you know my personal style mood board on Pinterest then guess what girl it has to go so I either put this in a donate pile or I put this in a pile to sell on Poshmark and you can actually have physical mood boards as well that you can like place in your closet so when you're getting dressed or when you're organizing your closet you have something to look at constantly to make sure you're getting dressed within that current vision also when you're creating these mood boards keep in mind your lifestyle like what's your occupation you know if you're a student your wardrobe will look vastly different than somebody who's you know working in corporate America as a banker or a lawyer um, so definitely keep that in mind we have you know visions of what we want our style to be but they're just not realistic to our lifestyle um so that's just how you make the most of your closet you're not just out there buying things that you're never going to wear um you're just making sure you stay true to your lifestyle and your occupation as well so that's why it's good to have like actual physical mood boards in your closet like set it here or somewhere where you can constantly look at it so once you've created your mood board, you have a clear sense of vision of what you want your personal style to be or what your personal style is, now it's time to start cleaning out your closet. So what I like to do is remove everything, everything, including the shoes and any accessories that's in here. I like to just start with a clean slate so everything has to go. In order for an item to make it back into the closet, it must fit within certain parameters. Um, so one, you must have worn the item within the last year. So if you didn't wear it last spring, guess what girl, you are not gonna wear it this spring, <laughs> okay? Two, it fits you well. I think that's another big thing. We love the clothes, but we don't actually love ourselves in the clothes. So we keep items that we know don't look really good on us, but you just love the item. No, we have to purge. Let go of that because guess what? New blessings are gonna come into your life. Clothes that actually flatter you and fit and make you feel like a million bucks. Like, if you don't feel good and confident in an item, it has to go, okay? Um, three, something that holds sentimental value. So say your grandmother gave you a cardigan or your mother's old wedding dress or maybe it's a really good vintage item that you thrifted, um, but you don't really wear it. 
you don't want to keep it in your main closet but you do want to keep it so like pack it away um, and keep it under your bed or in the other closet the only items that should be in your closet are items that you wear consistently and that you plan on wearing for recent purchases but you do have to reevaluate those recent purchases to make sure they actually fit within your current wardrobe if they don't if you can return them return them if not put them in a pile to sell on Poshmark Maybe it's an item that you want to DIY, so don't put it back in the closet, put it in a bin for DIY and just market DIY projects. Um, or maybe it's something that needs alterations, like I have a few items in here that I know the zipper broke and it's just chilling collecting dust over here. So I'm going to put that in a pile for alterations and go to the cleaners and get it altered um, so then it can make it back into the closet. Um, so that's pretty much the criteria that I stick with. You can add your own. Um, and if it doesn't stick with any of these criteria, guess what, girl? She's not coming back in here. So that's why it's ideal to just remove everything from your closet and just one by one bring items back. I prefer that method over like you know just going randomly because let me tell you 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 play yourself or I play myself all the time when I try to like one by one things because things end up staying that shouldn't stay um, so you commit you have to fully commit to just getting rid of things and just purchase all right so here are all the shoes that <laughs> were in my main closet I actually have a few more closets that have like shoes and stuff that I'm going to do separately but these are the items that are in my main wardrobe. Ooh, girl, this is exhausting. So I just wrapped up the shoes. I pretty much organized by brand. So we have Nike, Puma, Adidas, Vans, Converse, and then just randomness just spread throughout. Um, yeah, I probably knocked it down about 10%. I'm pretty satisfied right now. Now let's move on to the hard part, which is clothes. Girl, I'm gonna need another hot Cheeto break. <laughs> All the clothes have been removed and it's looking a little empty in here. And dusty. <laughs> Whew, am I ready for this task? I have to be. You can't turn back now. So here's my handy little clothing rack. Everything that's going back into my closet will be on here first. I'm gonna organize it on here and then transfer it into my closet everything else is going to go into a trash bag and then later on i'll sort whether i'm going to donate or sell it on poshmark so once my rack is pretty much at capacity then i just go back and just double check that the items that are here i'm like 100 percent certain okay i got this like a year ago and i didn't wear this past winter so you gotta go girl sorry i love the color gray i love neutral colors but not all pieces are created equal I don't remember the last time I wore this and it's kind of like dingy around the collar so yeah you, you gotta go Wait. Mm, yeah this I don't remember the last time I wore you you have to go too um, I love sweatshirts I love hoodies cardigans definitely this one I've worn. Yeah, we're gonna keep you. Gonna keep you. No, I knew when I put this here that I wasn't didn't want to keep you because it doesn't it doesn't fit. Remember, like key key key, it fits you good. I should have got that sweater in a small, but it's a medium, so oh well. This no. This one too, you gotta go. Do you guys see why it's imperative to just double check yourself? Because, oh, you'll, you can stay. This is a champion hoodie that's like very oversized, but it's dingy. So I don't know, maybe I could just wash this one. So I'm gonna throw this into the wash. <laughs> keep, 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 keep. Keep. So once I've completed the second like cut down for garments, then I go back and organize it while it's still in this rack. I just find that it's just a lot easier to do it before I put it in the closet. Um, 
So there's pretty much two ways to organize. You can go by garment and then by color or pattern, or you can go by color or pattern and then by garment. For me, the easiest way is just to go by garment type and then organize from light to dark as far as colors and patterns go. So that's pretty much what I did here. I have cardigans, regular sweaters, sweatshirts, hoodies, and blazers right here. Now it's time to bring it back into my closet. As far as hangers, um, I want everything to be uniform, so I'm switching over everything to these black velvet hangers. Um, it's just personal preference, it just looks better, and also the garments are going to stay on, they're not going to slip off. Um, I picked these up from TJ Maxx, it was, it's $25 for only $9.99, so definitely check out TJ Maxx and Marshalls for the velvety hangers. Um, it just creates nice cohesion amongst your clothes. Um, and definitely no wire hangers. All right, so I previously added in my bottoms. I have my skirts here and then the pants over here. How I organize is pretty much by color or pattern um, because how I get dressed is I'll have like something in mind. I'll be like, hmm, I need a pair of colorful pattern bottoms. So now I can just zero in on all my bottoms with patterns right here. And then we have the greens, reds, blues, and then blacks right here. Um, you pretty much have to think about like how you get dressed and kind of like organize your closet so it makes sense for you just so it's just a lot easier to get dressed so if you know you love patterned shirts so just keep all your patterned blouses just together like this or you know all your light colors or all like your spaghetti strap stuff um, just however you get dressed just like make there a method to your madness but make it specifically for you i can just give you a template on how i do it but of course i want you guys to cater it to how you like it as far as determining what to donate versus what to sell for selling you pretty much want to keep it fresh and trendy um definitely items that still have the tags on them are great to sell items that are gently gently worn meaning like one or two times they're not dirty um they're not torn or have any damages whatsoever those are great items to sell um you definitely want to keep it in season so save all your outerwear that's super heavy and chunky um for the winter save it for the fall time you know put those things aside because they're not going to sell right now people are spring ready and getting summer ready so you want to make sure you're selling summer and spring clothes right now just pack away all the sweaters and heavy outerwear and save that for later if, if i can go in the store and get it right now that's a good item to sell because you're probably going to sell it a lot cheaper than you can get it in the store um also like for our your vintage lovers your thrift lovers like i love um, buying and selling items from the thrift store that's something that's like super unique one of a kind um, those are great items to sell for me personally um, I think about the items that I've bought from Poshmark and they definitely were outerwear or shoes um, so definitely you know think about that before you start selling other great items to sell are basics and staples so denim jackets is a staple right so this will always sell Outerwear is something that, you know, is going to stay with you for a couple of years, hopefully. Um, so a denim jacket, like this Distress one, is a really great item to sell and also still has the tag on it. Um, also this, you know, white denim jacket, which still has a tag on it as well. And this Lacing Up, which is really trendy. Um, so this is a really great item to sell as well. Um, dresses, occasional dresses is another great item to sell because I wore this to, the, to a wedding and I'll never wear it again. So it's great. I'm going to toss this onto the Poshmark app and hopefully somebody else can wear this and, you know, wear it to a wedding. And then next thing you know, they put it on the Poshmark app. It's like the, the, the sisterhood of the traveling dresses. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm finally done. It took me two days, but all that matters is that I got it done. So take the time that you need two days, a week, whatever it is, but get it done. Have a goal in mind and just tackle it. Okay. So do what you have to do, but get it done. So here are the bags of clothes that I'm going to donate. I have about five so far and here are the bins of clothes that I'm either going to sell on my Poshmark or give away. 
So that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Comment down below with your Poshmark handle. You know, ain't nothing wrong with a little shameless plug, okay? And once again, follow me at the Notorious KIA and come shop my closet. Hopefully this video inspired you guys to want to clean out and organize your closet and hopefully you fall back in love with your clothes and realize why you enjoy getting dressed in the first place. Because that's the goal. Um, dressing is supposed to be fun. It's an expression. It's how you communicate with the world um, and it should be fun you shouldn't dread it so yeah clean out that closet get it together you know so you could be out here slaying less time worrying about what you want to wear and more time slaying okay <laughs> thank you again and i'll see you guys in my next video so until next time peace and openness